Hey besties, your baking bestie here. Say, let's talk a minute about consistencies. We all know that consistencies is the hardest part of this whole cookie decorating game, but let's specifically talk about making transfers and specifically writing and font transfers. So I use what some would consider a thicker consistency than, in, than what is generally recommended. But this is what gives me really great puffy lettering and writing and great dimension. And it holds that shape just perfectly without pooling. So can you see those peaks? They kind of, they flop back over, it, but it doesn't heal itself in the bowl. If you gave it a really good jiggle, then it would. But it doesn't, it doesn't flow. It's not thin, which is what you want because it's going to give you that puff and dimension in your writing. So I highly suggest you give this a shot. This is what works great for me for almost all my writing, especially for thicker fonts and really even scripty ones too. So let's get into some transfers. I always use sheet protectors for my transfers. It's the easiest way to lock that design template into place and your transfers will dry with a completely flat back. So if you use parchment or wax paper, they're gonna curl a little bit because of the moisture in your icing. And then your transfers won't sit flush, completely flush on your cookies. Um, if it works for you, then great, but I love um, sheet protectors, food safe sheet protectors. I link to the ones that I use in the blog post. So here you can see we're just getting into it and this is real time. I know we're all used to these decorating videos which make it look super fun and exciting because everything is sped up, um, but this is real time. It's slow and you can see how thick this is, how puffy this letter is, but it's going to perfectly smooth itself out. It's perfectly going to heal itself and is going to just have that perfect, smooth, puffy finish and give you the great shape and dimension that you want in a font like this. So I'm going to speed it up now. And I'll let you guys just, I'll stop talking. I'll let you guys just enjoy and see how this works. But you can see exactly how these are done. Get really good shape. And you guys, this is, you can easily add letters, numbers, any design elements to your cookies, projector or not. Obviously, no projector is needed here. Um, let them dry overnight, 24 hours pop them off and put a dab of royal icing on the back and you guys can have amazing lettering and wording on your cookies. So it's a great solution. I love transfers for this reason. Um, I hope you appreciate the transfer sheets that we always have available for free. Our designs get added, new ones get added every single week. So you can always go there for new designs. And then I know I said I was going to stop talking, um, but that never happens. So here you can just see these dried overnight and they just pop off like that, you guys. They're good to go. They're just put a dab of royal icing glue on the back or as glue, add to your cookies. I mean, they're fragile. Be careful with them, but you're good to go. I hope this was helpful. Happy baking, besties.